Acronis CyberProtect Home Office recently came out on top on this channel as the best online backup service that you can use across all of your tech. But not only does it back things up, it also includes a ton of features to protect you from ransomware and other malicious things out on the World Wide Web. So today, not only am I going to give you a walkthrough of how Acronis works, I'm also going to be really, really dumb and try to infect my gaming PC to see how well Acronis actually works. So um, yeah, be sure to stick around for that. Now, in terms of features, Acronis is pretty much the most feature-rich consumer-focused backup software that I've actually come across. Though, so don't let the home office name fool you. Now, I've been using this on my Windows PC, my MacBook Air, my iPhone, my all the Android phones that I test. So this really is something that you can use to cover every single device. And we're going to touch on each of these as I run you through what Acronis is actually capable of doing. So if you haven't already, you can get 20% off Acronis by clicking on the link down below and using the code PeteMatheson2022. So firstly, let's do the big ones. Let's do Mac and and Windows. So on Mac, when you fire up the client for the first time, you'll see this. Now, firstly, back up on the top left, and here is where you configure the various backups that you might want. Now, by default, it will start creating a new one for you if you haven't got one there already. Otherwise, click on the Add Backup button down the bottom here, and click on where mine says Pete's Mac Mini on the left here, and now you get a few different options on what you can back up from your whole machine. So the whole thing, specific disks, just certain files and folders, back up a mobile device, backing up from Outlook or OneDrive or a NAS if you have one. Now, I've also got an option here called files to notarize and this is a, a premium feature that authenticates that your files haven't been changed in like any way it's a bit more for advanced users so let me know in the comments down below if that's something you want to learn more about now i would suggest to just back up your entire machine to begin with so let's go with that and then on the right you can choose the destination now that's either a cronus cloud depending on how much storage space you purchased or you can put it somewhere else on your own network once you've done that i want you to click into settings at the bottom here and we're going to run through these very quickly so for schedule choose something that works to of course your own schedule now i tend to leave my machine on so overnight is the best for me clean up you can leave as it is for now and for encryption i would highly recommend you encrypt the data because otherwise if anyone else got hold of your data then they'd be able to read it so uh, always set an encryption password to something complicated and that you won't forget of course now under exclusions you probably don't think you're going to need to exclude anything now i've had to add in this cloud storage folder because i was having problems backing up google drive i think it was that so just excludes the whole folder which we don't need to back up anyway since those files are of course stored in the Google Cloud thing. Now for network, here you can decide where you want your backups to go. So for me, it's here in the UK. So you might want to ensure that it's backed up to maybe your country to get the fastest possible restore times, or maybe you want to back up to a totally different country to protect against natural disasters. Now you can also set the backup upload speeds here, and I just want this to happen as fast as possible. Now I have 110 meg upload connection here, so it's pretty good. And then for error handling, I've just left these as defaults. Now that's backup as far as it goes on a Mac. Now if you are using this on a Windows machine, there are a couple of differences that are worth mentioning after a cheeky subscribe to the channel. Firstly, on Windows, you can configure the backup to run non-stop, which means it basically uploads any changes that it detects straight to the cloud every five minutes or so. And you'll always have the latest data backed up to the cloud, so you don't have to wait overnight for that backup. Now, you've also got some extra notification settings here where you can configure Acronis to notify you about your backup, which will then alert you, of course, if the backups aren't running as expected. And then on the advanced page, we have another option that we didn't see on Mac, which is to shut the computer down after the backup finishes, which is a pretty nice addition if you want to, say, do this overnight and then have your PC switch itself off. There's also a sync tool here, which works more like other file sharing services like Dropbox, where you can just sync the files you have locally to the cloud. You can also use Acronis here to sync files between two PCs, which is quite a neat kind of new feature to have as well. Now, lastly, there's also this new tool section on the left-hand side, which contains a ton more tools that you just don't see on Mac. These are things like the Rescue Media and Acronis Universal Restore, which lets you restore your backup to a totally different computer, like totally different hardware. Say, for example, you smash your laptop and you can't fix it. So you go out and buy a brand new laptop. This is what you use to then get everything back to what it was, but on your new machine. There's the disk cloning tool here. So if you wanna just have a second physical copy of your hard disk, either as a backup perhaps, or just to help moving to a new drive or a new computer that's exactly the same hardware, this can be really helpful for doing that. You also have a few other tools in here, such as the system cleanup to remove just the junk from your computer and drive cleanser, which can be used to securely erase old hard drives before you like physically throw them away without worrying about your OnlyFans collection. Now on both Mac 
and Windows, you can enable protection features. So under protection, you can head into settings and just run through these. Like by default, they're all on, but I'd actually recommend leaving them this way unless you have any specific reasons not to. And if it finds anything dodgy, it will try to block it and quarantine it before it does anything nasty. Like more on that in just a moment. And then lastly, there's the archive section of Acronis, which basically just lets you use that Acronis cloud storage space that you've like paid for to free up some space from your actual machine. For both iPhone and Android, if you install the Acronis mobile client, now you can also use your Acronis cloud storage to back up all of your contacts, your photos, videos, messages, even your calendars. So if you wanted to double up on what you're perhaps already using, if you're using iCloud or, or Google Drive or what have you, or perhaps you just hate signing up for more subscription services, then you could just use the same license of Acronis, the backs of your home PC to also back up your mobile devices too. Pretty cool. And the apps themselves have a few settings that are worth checking as well. So there's the option to back up only whilst charging. So it backs up probably overnight whilst you charge your phone and probably whilst you sleep. And you can also disable the use Wi-Fi setting here to allow you to back up the data over your mobile network rather than just on Wi-Fi only. Of course, assuming you have enough data. And it can also pause backups when it knows that your power is low. So it's worth just playing with those. Now, next up, your online accounts. So Acronis allows you to back up your Microsoft Outlook and OneDrive as well. So clicking into the online dashboard and clicking through to back up your 365, you'll be prompted to allow Acronis to access your 365 information, of course. Now there isn't much in terms of configuration options, but once it's connected, it will basically back up everything that's in those accounts. And for those of you who have been watching this channel for a while, you hopefully you will know that Microsoft doesn't back up their own services. So things like your email or any important documents you store in your OneDrive should be backed up by using another service, which Acronis can do for you too. So that is the basics in terms of how to use Acronis Cyber Protect Home Office, but does it actually work? Now I'm gonna be really stupid now. I'm gonna try and download some dodgy stuff onto my gaming PC and just see how well Acronis actually performs. And if it's as good as it says it is, then I won't need to show you how I restored this PC from the backup that I've just made sure is 100% finished. And actually, I really, really struggled. Now, of course, searching for download malware in Google isn't likely to yield many results since Google does a pretty good job at blocking things nowadays. So I had to go hunting through various dodgy BitTorrent websites and thought I'd found a lead through some cracked game download websites but each step of the way didn't bring me any closer to actually infecting my PC. And quite a few times I was prompted by Acronis that the website was blocked due to the hosting like malicious content on it. So it looks like Acronis did a pretty good job here. So honestly, I have to give it to you. If you do get your PC wrecked with viruses and malware and ransomware, it's actually a pretty impressive feat to do this in like 2020 with all of the protection that you have in place across the board. And other than a few questionable toolbars, which I managed to successfully install, I wasn't able to actually cause any actual damage to my PC. So um, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with Acronis. Now, if you did want to stand a chance at winning a free one year subscription to Acronis, then all you need to do is sign up to my newsletter and there'll be a link down below. And we basically host monthly giveaways now on the for the newsletter subscribers so if you're interested in potentially winning things monthly and also seeing what i'm up to then sign up using the link down below and once you've got yourself a good backup system you should also sort yourself out with the best password manager for 2022 which is here i'll see you in the next one cheers